Hello, this is Be Still and Know with Jonathan Edwards. Let's hear the Bible together. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. Paul is bursting to address lots of issues in this letter. His relationship with the church in Corinth was a difficult one, and he'll need to defend himself very strongly in the pages that follow. But he begins by reminding the church about the nature of God, their Father in heaven. He reminds them that he is the Father of Jesus, and that he is, by his nature, merciful. As a result of this, he is the source of all comfort. The word comfort that the translators have used here is an interesting word, but not one that I would have chosen. Comfort comes from Latin and literally means with strength. However, for some reason, it doesn't sound very strong to me. It makes me think of someone coming along with a head on one side and saying, oh dear, poor you, I'm so sorry you're feeling rough. A better translation for me would be the word encourage. That is to say, God doesn't merely say kind words to us, but literally puts courage into us. Paul needed to know where his source of encouragement was. His ministry was incredibly tough. He was constantly stretched to the limit and often faced physical danger and deep discouragement. He'd learnt that God was his constant source of encouragement. God literally put courage into him. Our lives might not be as pressurised as Paul's, but we all need to receive courage. It's wonderful when people encourage us, but the reality is that their encouragement changes. They have different moods and are busy with different activities and we don't always see them. Other people's encouragement unavoidably goes up and down. So we need to be reminded that God is our constant encourager. Whatever is happening, he will continue to pour courage into our lives. Let's pray together. Thank you, Lord, that you're a constant source of encouragement. Help us to receive it and to stand strong for you. Amen. It's been a pleasure to spend these moments with you. Visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope and join our growing Voice of Hope family. And follow along with these daily meditations at home in print, direct to your favourite mobile device, or as a daily podcast on the app Podbeam. I am Jonathan Edwards and I encourage you to join me as I share a thought from the Bible Monday to Friday every week. May God bless you.